Welcome to All About the Banks. Thank you for stopping by. If you're not a member of the AATB family, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and ringing the bell. That way, you are notified every time we put out a new video. On this adventure, we stayed at Country Acres Campground in Gordonville, PA. Gordonville is in Lancaster County, and this campground is in the middle of Amish country. Country Acres is a family-friendly and pet-friendly property. And as you can see, Destiny fits into her site really well. Nice dog park fenced in and playground for the kids. And they have cabins. I only see two though. This is the cabin number three, I think. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes, this is newer. It is gated. There's a basketball court. This looks nice. And a pickleball court. You have to have a card key card to get in okay so we just added on two more cabins so I'm gonna stop counting cabins and just show you and this is another section as soon as you come in you make a right turn looks like a lot of the class A's are over here this is looks like the newer section Okay guys, we are here in the office and I want to tell you this guy right here has been so awesome. His, uh, I wouldn't say presentation, but his, his, knowledge. his knowledge and his orientation to us when we checked in was great. So I want you to meet Justin. He's been here for 11 years. <laughs> so Justin, tell us a little bit about the campground. Yeah, the campground has been around for 55 years now. Uh, it's been owned by the Smucker family since uh, about the turn of the century. And uh, they are a local Mennonite family that owns the campground and a motel and a chicken farm. They uh, are great people who love the place, and I think it shows when you walk around. Uh, the campground has been uh, expanding here and there, and we've been adding lots of different things like the pickleball courts and uh, moving the playground up. These guys are, uh, it's great to stay here because they are people who care about their guests, care about the campground. There's nothing corporate about this place. Makes it a nice place to work. And uh, the campground is open uh, till mid-December uh, for some of the big rig sites. Uh, the rest of it closes after Thanksgiving and we open in mid-March every year. Uh, we're open all the way down. Uh, we are a short-term campground. We do stays, maximum stay is two weeks in theory. Uh, we do nightly rates. We have discounts for AAA or Good Sam, 10% discounts for those. And availability is pretty tight a lot of the time, but we are always happy to try to squeeze you in if you give us a ring. Guys, as you just heard from Justin, they have 99 sites and four cabins. Five. Five cabins. I cannot get the cabins right. So we, there's 99 sites and five cabins. Great little place. Uh, and it's easy to get to here in Lancaster, close right off Tango. of uh, 30, close to a lot of shopping down, just down the road west of here. Uh, Tanger Outlet Mall, a lot of the major stores. Walmart is like six miles away. So check it out. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, you getting the clothes did. Yes, yes, yes. This is all a part of travel. When you don't oh. have a wash and dryer in your rig, cheat on! This is what you do. <laughs> Laundry room. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Good morning, guys. Good morning. We are out in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and we today we're going on a tour that is provided by the campground, campground. in conjunction with the bird in hand conglomeration that is here right they, they seem to have several businesses and it's a little community or uh, they got their own bank and hotel and stuff like that so this is uh, a look at what i can understand to be either the amish or the amish and the Mennonite, Mennonite. community right so uh if we can film we're gonna film if not we'll come back and let you know what happened. Sounds good. All right, see you in a minute. As a guest of Country Acres, we received a guided tour of the Amish country. They do this on Monday through Saturday. That is exclusive to the guests that are lodging at their properties. One of our stops on the tour was at the Countryside Road Stand. The road stand is known for its crafts, baked goods, and its soft pretzels. Delicious. Hey guys, if you get value from our videos, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. This is your typical Amish bike. Notice it doesn't have any pedals. We just learned that uh, Satellite Church is not a new thing. This is everything they need to have church at a new location every month. And as you can see, it's a box. So uh, basically just a trailer. So everything they need for church is in here. They have some benches, they have uh, hymnals, everything, and it goes from farm to farm. We understand that they have uh, church once a month. Everybody rotates at different farms. So, satellite churches have popped up all over the place in the United States and everywhere. They tear them down on Sunday after church and they pop back up again. Well, this has been going on for a long time. And the Amish have done it. this comes out well because it's no light in here but this is the buggy that we see going up and down the road this is flexible it looks like vinyl or leather this must be the the sports edition because it's a shorter frame Man, handmade though. All of them are handmade. And I don't know what year model this is.
That's funny. Got a uh, Senate tree up there. Wish I did know what model they were. And these are probably for lights. And it has a windshield wiper. This was another stop that we made at a working farm. On the farm, they had a store which was full of beautiful handmade quilts and other crafts. But my favorite thing on this farm were the Havapoo puppies. <laughs> Have a poo puppies. Good morning guys, we are on another adventure. This morning we have tickets to the Sight and Sound Theater in Lancaster, Pennsylvania and we are going to see uh, the, I guess the story of David. So I mean we're always excited about our adventures but we're really excited about this one because it's something that we've never done before. The theater's over there. We don't know how much we'll be able to record or if we'll be able to record anything, but we will take you with us anyway. All right, y'all. Um, like I said, we couldn't record in there, but let me tell you, if you have or if you have not had the opportunity to go or come to Lancaster, Pennsylvania to the Sight and Sound Theater and see one of their productions, please, please, please do it. It was amazing. Whoever orchestrated all of this, whoever the person is in charge, my hats are off to them. It was one of the most inspiring and amazing productions I think I have ever seen. What you think, Dwayne? No, it it was. It it is uh it's amazing how the the they can synchronize everything from stage movement to you can tell that it was just well rehearsed, well planned out and the effects, the uh I mean everything. And just the storyline of of David, they really hit all the the uh, the points that really make you think and they told it very very respectfully and in line with the word of god so guys you heard it from us i would come again and again and again so i am so glad that we had this opportunity and it was only 10 minutes away from where we're staying we had no idea that we were that close to it so i'm just glad that we took this opportunity today to come like i said if you ever have a chance to get there to get here 
to see any of it. I think Moses is going to be the next um, production that they're doing. And then in 2023, I think it was, they're going to be doing something at Christmas time. So go online, Google Sight and Sound Theater, get your ticket and get here. It was good. Good morning, everybody. We are in Lancaster, PA. Uh, and we're getting ready to start breaking things down to move to our next destination. Uh, we're going to Gettysburg from here. So, uh, I've had some comments in some of our other videos that we've done about setting up and tearing down. And I thought about it this morning. It's kind of a personal preference thing. Uh, it's really, you know, step by step. I do it different than some people do it. The one thing I can tell you though, interruptions will mess up your setup and tear down. In other words, if you're tearing something down or setting it up, your camper at your campsite, don't go over to your buddy and you know start talking to him about what happened last night if you're finished or something like that. Because mentally, everybody has their little process that they go through. Now, there are some good ideas, I think, but Number one thing, if somebody comes over and, and they're, they want to talk to you about something, don't, you know, if you stop, I would suggest that you really think through what you've done and almost start over again. You know, I know it sounds funny, but you can really forget something critical. Now, the one thing that I do probably 95% of the time is before I pull off with the truck. Most of the time, I'll walk around this camper and truck at least twice maybe three times checking doors checking uh checking the hitch checking the the landing gear and you say man that's that's overkill it may be overkill but i'm actually looking at things that i would just think already have uh have been done or because it does get kind of mundane when you're uh, setting up and tearing down so visual or either touch you know, you guys in the service or you guys that, that have done something uh, repetitively, you know how you think you have done it, but actually you did not do it. Uh, the other week we were getting ready to leave a site and I said, okay, all the doors are closed in my mind. I got out of the truck, came around and the other side, the, the, the uh, storage bay door had not been closed and locked. So just a tip. When you get ready to go, when you get ready to set up, leave your neighbor alone until he sits down in a chair with his drink. Then go talk to him. And if somebody comes over, just let them know that you just want to get this done and then you'll be free. Cool? All right, let's go to work. Want to know what to watch next? Check out the link at the end of this video.